we, when we go to the software, first one from the top is file. So files for open the file we want to print. So first we, for example, we go to choose the file we want to print. Desktop, for example, we want to print the test file. Then also we put two test files on the USB flash for the customer testing. First one is for test the color of fit for white and varnish. And also another one is for test file with picture. So for example, we print we load this for print. We double click. So the file go to the left. And we when we right click, double click, we go to the file. We right click, we can go to print, task setting, detect, print ready and cancel task, move, plus options. For example, we can, we can delete it. For example, we go to task setting. So we go to this interface. Here we can set the copy for X, for Y axis, and the space for each file. And also here we can choose, we can choose square print that certain position we want to print, but not the full image, like this. And also we can set as we want the size, like this. And the ink setting here, we can choose a setting like color, white, varnish, much ink. For example, we want to print that with two ink limit for white, white ink copies, but double white ink density or double varnish. So normally we choose one by each color white and varnish layer. And here's adjust, we don't adjust the ink. For example, we just want to test the color, we just want to test the motion, we can remove to all. But if normally if you want print, normal print job, you just open for 100%. And what we can adjust the wetness for one copy. For example, we want only half what ink density we just reduce to 50% or 60% and also varnish. So for white and varnish, you can adjust the ink limit to get different results. But for KCMY, we strongly recommend you to do not change the setting here because if you change the ink limit for KCMY, the print out picture, the color will be not original. So this is the ink setting. And this ink static, we can check this picture, this size, how many ink that consumed for each square meter. So after print, we can show the ink limit for each KCM1. <clears throat> We can set print count, the price. So we can here we can count out the total total price cost for each copies. So this is the task property setting for the file. And here also we can click print and delete or clear all the list or open the folder we want to print. Mm -hmm. like this. And also we can go to file, also we can go to open PR file to print. But if you go to PR file, you will not, the, not show the icon. And also click CWC task is for some special using, like uh, uh, full print head using. So this is not using for Atlas right now. It's for update version later. So normally we just use uh, this area to open the test, to open the file we want to print, PR file. <clears throat> okay, then we go to print. 
print here, we can choose the print position. So first, here have an X margin. This margin is for start printing position. For example, we put 100. Here is the edge of the flat bit from at the left, and here's from top. And here's here is X. Here's Y. For example, here is zero, and this Y position. Also, we can move the picture to the position that we want to print. The maximum printing width for the print table is 1.3 meter for the X and 1.1 meter for the Y position. So we can set the position we want to print any position we want. And also the Y margin, if we click on, we open this Y margin option. Then it will go to the start position, start the setting position to print. And if we click off, then the carriage will print from the current position. So this for setting position, print position for the zero position of the print job. And the multi-layer setting is for print lottery, print model. So for print flatbed model, motion, the flatbed option is not used. Here's for print the uh, lottery like a mugger, like a bottle option. And then we go to setting. Here is setting we can find out here head select. So the standard configuration is three print heads, one print head for KCMY and one print head for white, one print head for color. So it's, we choose color, ja, uh, color plus, white and varnish. So we choose this model. And here is what used for print the the lottery marker or bottle printing option. So this one is for flat bit. And this later this one 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 third or one try or one fourth of one six is for print with certain nozzle jet option. It's normally used for it's only used for print the lottery device print bottle, mugger, or any lottery material, object. So this is the head select. So just remember, print with flat bit, like print on the board, like print on the film, or print on any PVC acrylic flat material. We just flexi, print on the flexi flat material. We just choose the first full color plus white and varnish. And here's the comma setting, the speed, we can choose low, middle, and high speed for print. And print election, we can choose to left, to right, or bad election. So here, if you choose the print to left, to right, the print resolution, the print quality is better than print by bad election. But the speed is slower. But if you choose to print by bad election, the print speed is quick, quick more quickly. But the, res the resolution quality will be a little bit worse than print to left or to right. So we call print to left or print to right by unit election model. And print by to left plus to right we call it by bad election. So it's the same as the speed model as Epson. Left to right is for draft or for middle and bad election, bad election for fast. And auto, auto cleaning is used for cleaning or flushing. And this print, printer, we use the negative pressure system. So we just click close, choose as default, close. And the wire print action forward or reverse. And this is print for, for, for example, if you print just by the first layer is white, then color layer, then varnish. That means the wet is on the bottom the varnish is on the top. So we, cho we choose the forward direction. But if we want print, like uh, the first layer is, is color, then print the white. The white is on the top layer. Then we choose reverse to print. So normally we choose by forward. And the UV light 
We choose the left, the right, left, the right, left, right, or click on to 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 open the to make the UV light working. <laughs> and here the margin setting we can set as before. And here the color bar setting. Color bar setting is for print a color bar at the left or right of the picture to prevent the print head clock not the clock so we can if you print on the flat material flat material you can choose on steady right and we can choose the set the size distance besides the picture the job or you can choose off so normally we Recommended it to open it for prevent the head clock during printing. And encroaching setting. In encroaching setting we just keep as default. Here I have lots of different model for encroaching. It's used for improve the printing quality to prevent the past line. Especially for if you some nozzle is clock, you need you need to open the encroaching encroaching system. The setting to improve the printing quality. So we can normally we choose deep as strong A model to get the better printing quality. And the load ink option we not use it right now because we use the negative pressure system, automatic load ink. So this is not used for Atlas, it's for other model. And advanced function here. Here we can choose the picture printed with white color, varnish, or color, any any model we want. If you choose normal, that means it will be printed white, color, varnish, three layer. If you choose only color, that means the white and varnish print head will not print in ink. So this the the channel option to choose the ink for print and mineral print is for print the horizontal mineral or not mineral the white motion white motion position just keep default as correct not change and all the jump white is used for some copies print the gap between each picture have empty area without any dot without any any piece of so we just open the auto jump white option where make print speed quickly so we just keep choose as default choose by together and already set yes keep as default then we go to adjust go to adjust here have lots of different uh, adjust uh, uh, parameter so first is the not check and here also have not check option print confirm and here is not not a check print we can check the print nozzle status to check the if the nozzle is clocked or not and vertical calibration left calibration front rear calibration and a step adjust calibration hit space we hear all are for and bad election this all are for uh, first time you install print head for the calibration later we'll teach you each calibration for each using And then we go to voltage. The voltage is just keep it as default, no change. All the all the all the voltage we set in ready. Then we go to advanced. Okay, when we then we go to the advanced setting. First is the factory setting. Here's the password. So normally we no need to go to the pa go to the factory setting. 
and then this version information is for update or refresh or rewriting the firmware using. So normally we just keep as default. Then reprint, that means a ripping and printing by the same way. So for safety, we strongly recommend you to print by PRN5 model, but not by reprint. Because if you are not do the calibration or you not do the head detect procedure before you print, then you not not have enough time to do the the calibration for position, x margin, z margin setting, the parameter. Then start print. It will be easy to to get the printed job damage or print head faulty. So we recommended you to print by file model, by this way, open file or open the file by the diagram here. So the reprint, we just keep the default. And advanced here, have the net setting that we, we explained before to put the IP number to got the printer connect with the computer. And here it's not used, it's for special using for password. And the language, you can change the language, Chinese or English version. And the nose close is special number. For example, you if you have some nozzle is clogged, you can click off to close off the nozzle without jet ink out to get a better print quality. But before you do this, you need to print a picture out to check which pick, which node is clock. And this is special used for apps print head, for recall, for even one or two nodes clock will not affect the print quality. And even if you click off, if it will also affect some print quality. So the best solution is to maintain the print head wear and also do a good maintenance job to get the best print quality. And then we go back to the factory setting. Here we put the password by 611. By put six number all up by one. Double, double one of six times. Then we go to the factory. The here is the fact engineer setting. Here we can see some uh, engineer setting, the X motor, Y motor, Z motor, the motor calibration, motor alignment. So for here we not surely may you so never never change any setting without full understand, without got the guidance from our engineer. Because if you if you change any setting, we are make the machine faulty. Here you only need to go to the web setting here, choose the web file for printing. And here we have two files for print. One is for high jet and one is for standard. The high jet means print with high thickness for, for the high cube material. For, la, for example, print on the, the dish, the ball. That means the material cube bigger than 5 mm, so we choose high jet model, and we choose the width. So here have high jet and a standard. The high jet must, uh, if you choose the high jet, you must choose the default width by zero. The high jet is used for print on the high thickness, high cube material like a ball, dish, or any tools. That means the material not flat. The material have bigger cube thickness. So use the high jet model. The high jet match with zero. And if we just print on the flat material, flexi material, like a PVC board, acrylic board, film, that not have any or small cube the cube thickness is more than 3 or 5 mm. So we choose the standard flash model, get the fastest print speed, fastest printing speed. If you choose the standard flash model, Q file, we must choose 
default width by one model. Some flush standard match with one and hydrate match with zero, cannot mixing. So after you choosing, you need to click apply to return, return the parameter to the, to the board. And then go to file, choose save again. Must, sure, must be sure is you choose save, succeed, and click. Then you go to printing. Then we choose by, if you then load a picture to print, the print will start to print with high jet, high cube model. But here we choose zero if you high jet. High jet with zero and apply 